What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. We're talking about Jeepers Creepers Reborn again. Jeepers Creepers 4 here in this video here today. So I got a email in response to a uh, email of course that I sent out myself yesterday from one of my contacts at this theater chain in Australia. And I was told that the film Jeepers Creepers 4 has been pulled from its Australia release schedule and is now undated. So you know what like it, at this point that kind of just makes me think that means we're not going to get it in april in germany either uh we might not get it in april for the states if anything at this point we might not get that movie until later this year once again going along with the fall of 2022 for whatever reason they could drop it in october but the hope in me <laughs> is still saying that the fact that they have started up this marketing this early on in the year means that this movie has to be right around the corner because this movie could ultimately just not go to theaters at all it could just not go to theaters and still come out in april but given that it's been pulled from this theater chain in australia who's to say that it hasn't been pulled from all the others so does this mean that the movie itself altogether will not be releasing in april anymore that is very what that, that's what i'm thinking that's what i think this this means this could mean that it's just not going to be in theaters in the month of uh, april at all it could just be a thing where they wanted it to be a theatrical release but screen media has opted to you know just put it out on streaming uh like with Willy's Willy's Wonderland. Willy's Wonderland, I believe, was supposed to be in theaters, but the stuff that we're still dealing with was what caused it not go to theaters ultimately because it got delayed and then just got pushed out to VOD early last year. So maybe that's what will happen. Jeepers Creepers 4 won't be in theaters at all. It'll just go straight to streaming and that'll be it. But knowing that Timo himself has already said that the plan is for it to go to theaters, it kind of makes me think that this means the movie is not coming out in April anymore and it's now just out there waiting to receive yet another release date that they think will stick. But the fact that they have already started doing all this marketing, not not like there's been a heap of it, but the stuff that's starting to come out in the month of March now with this competition and the instructions that are supposed to come out, hopefully that comes out uh, early tomorrow. But them doing that and then you know the cast interviews all this stuff that keeps on coming out like not that it's coming out all so frequently but you know this little intricate stuff that keeps coming out like every other week or every other couple of months or so like what are you waiting for with the movie just just put it out somewhere at this point i wouldn't be shocked if we found out that they're trying to actually you know sell it to a streaming service most likely shutter would take it on but who knows this ip is so tainted because of its creator you know there's some brilliant filmmakers out there who i i would bet would jump at the shot of doing this but they don't want to have their reputation associated with that individual they probably would behind closed doors tell you you know what that's an ip that i would love to tap into and i would love to revive it and bring it back to life but in good conscience and good faith knowing who the creator is and what they've done and why it's in the position that it's in i can't do that i don't want to put my name anywhere near that person's name that's probably what is going on with why like other filmmakers haven't tackled this because i've talked about this before a jeepers creepers movie from james wan sign me up a jeepers creepers movie from lee Wanell, sign me up <laughs> it's just like there's certain people who we have seen kind of dominate the horror spectrum with other franchises like with saw then they jump to the conjuring then insidious all under their umbrella that i think that we have a faith in them that they could handle a movie like jeepers creepers but there's just that aspect of victor salva that keeps people from wanting to even have anything to do with it but i guess the movie's not coming out in april anymore that's just what i'm going to lean on to at this point you know we could still get it in april but i don't think it's coming uh but then again there's that hope in me that's saying you know what just remain hopeful but this seems like it means it's not coming out in april at all altogether because it could just be that they're going to have it come out in streaming the other thing i wanted to touch on briefly was the fact that you are going to have a interview coming out later this week with timo on a podcast where he's going to be answering some questions so this is going to be from 
the Lost. Shout out to the Lost River Dine, and I'll even link to their Twitter. But uh, they put out this tweet. All right, y'all. They said horror. Horror. Hannah and I are incredibly thrilled to announce that we'll be having a. We'll be having Timo Virensola, director of the upcoming Jeepers Creepers Reborn, on the You Need a Horror podcast this week. If you're a patron of either of us, submit questions for Timo, and we'll be sure to ask. So what I'll do is leave a link to that tweet that I'm reading in the description of this video. And you can do what you want to in, in, in regards to how you want to get questions out there for them to answer, to get these questions out there to ask the Timo. So, you know, it's just very disheartening at this point that this movie is just kind of like in limbo, like how Jeepers Creepers 3 was in limbo. But the, the thing that's even more frustrating with this one is that we know it actually was shot because <laughs> I remember there was a time in like the late 2000s or maybe in the early 2010s. Someone had stated that the movie Jeepers Creepers 3 had been shot. But then, of course, that turned out to be a bunch of malarkey. It had not been shot. Um, maybe they shot a couple scenes and it got pulled for whatever reason. But no, the movie itself was not completed. And then, you know, we just sat there waiting for Jeepers Creepers 3. Jeepers Creepers 3 was just out there in the ether, but it was not shot. So with this one is a little bit more frustrating knowing that they actually have a movie that's made. And then on top of that, knowing Jonathan Breck was not asked to come back and then hearing him state that he would easily come back and do it for lunch money. Uh, all of this stuff tacked onto the fact that they have handled the marketing in such a atrocious manner, the way some of you talk about it. <laughs> it's just very frustrating and disheartening that this movie seems like even if it comes out being good it's just going to be even more frustrating let's say that this movie is actually one of the best things that comes out this year for the horror genre it's even it's going to be even more frustrating that it was handled in such a poor way with the marketing if it actually ends up being something that horror fans will talk about horror fans might it might develop a cult following like the first two it's just going to be something that you look back on it's gonna be like well how did this movie that was decently made have such terrible marketing we all know part of the reasons but this type of marketing no even Jeepers Creepers 3 had better marketing than this. I have to say that because they're not handling this well at all in terms of just connecting with the fan base, having people eager for the movie. At this point, people are more eager for you to just reveal either you messed up or just release it all together and let us pick it apart bit by bit <laughs> and move on to the next thing in our lives. Not that you have to hone on, hone in on Jeepers Creepers 4. I'm just being dramatic. <laughs> but let me know what y'all think about all this down in the comment section below. And again, I'll leave a link to that tweet in the description for the interview with Timo. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification in this video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to deliver any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.